Okay, so this is going to be a little project on how to set up a JavaFX program based on an example that's out there. So I'm going to start off by uh, opening up in IntelliJ a new project. I'm going to select JavaFX as my new project type. I will name it, as you can see right here, in project name. And I'm just going to replace the, the other project that was in this window. Next up, I have to make linkages to the JavaFX library. All right, so we're going to do that first. First thing to do is to go into the File menu and to describe the project structure. Here I go into Libraries, and I go and I find my JavaFX um, library folder, which is found in, in my case, in Documents. I select the type of JavaFX that I want and then the lib folder. So this is the lib folder right here. Next up, there's a second step that I have to go through and I have to go into the run configuration, which I just did right there. And in VM options, I have to state that I have a module path. And that module path is described by typing in the actual location once again of my JavaFX library. So in this case, it's under Users, JA Smith, Documents, Java, Java, uh, FX, SDK, 11, etc. And that'll depend on, on what your actual version is. And then I have to state that I want to add particular modules. So I'm going to add in the JavaFX controls um, module. Oops, sorry, right there I had to put in the actual specific JavaFX uh, number, version. And now I'm going to type in the, uh, the module names that I want. So add modules. In this case, I want to have the uh, JavaFX.xml and uh, .controls modules. Next up, I go into the uh, main component of my files, or of my uh, source folder. I'm going to go and copy the, uh, the example that I found online. So I have to keep the first line in the uh, template that was created, so where it says uh, sample, I have to keep that line. Next up, I'm going to replace all the imports. So these are all the additional JavaFX libraries that I'm going to need for this particular file. Notice that the ones that are grayed out are grayed out initially because the class that follows down below doesn't call them. That'll change once I replace the main class. So now I'm going to copy that class, the one that actually does all the work. Now, in this case, the class called uh, box draw mode. We're going to replace the main class right here with it, but we'll rename box draw box draw mode as main afterwards. All right. So now we're going to replace that name with main. And that's it. That, that's what needs to be done in order to get a JavaFX project working in IdeaJ or IntelliJ. I'm going to hit run. Well, build project and then run. I just want to make sure it compiles. I'm going to run and I'll show you it looks the the window that is created looks exactly like the window that was in the sample
There, so that's what I created using IntelliJ. It's not a great looking box, but it is a 3D box. And look, it looks like the sample from the web page. And there you have it.